we need to figure out the least common multiple of 30 and 25. So let's get our little scratch pad out here. And we care about 30 and we care about 25. And I'm gonna do this using the prime factorization method, which I just like more. So 30, let's find the prime factorization of both of these numbers. So 30, it's divisible by two, it's two times 15. 15 is three times five. And now we've expressed 30 as the product of only prime numbers. Two times three times five. Now let's do the same thing for 25. 25 is, well that's just five times five. So let me write that down. 25 is equal to five times five. Now to find the least common multiple, let me write this down, the least common multiple of, of 30, 30 and 25 is going to have a number whose prime factorization is a superset of both of these or has all of these numbers in them as many times as we have in any one of these. So it's least common multiple. Well, it has to be divisible by 30, so it's going to need a two times a three times a five. This is what makes it divisible by 30. But it needs to also be divisible by 25. And in order to be divisible by 25, you need to have two fives in your prime factorization. Right now, our prime factorization only has one five. So let's throw, so we have one five right over here. We need another five. So let's throw another five right over here. So now this thing clearly has a 25 in it. It's clearly divisible by 25. And this is the least common multiple. I could have had, if we just wanted a common multiple, we could have thrown more, we could have thrown more factors here and it would have definitely been divisible by 30 or 25. But this has the bare minimum of prime factors necessary to be divisible by 30 and 25. If I got rid of any one of these, I wouldn't be divisible by both anymore. If I got rid of this two, I wouldn't be divisible by 30 anymore. If I got rid of one of the fives, I wouldn't be divisible by 25 anymore. So let's just multiply it out. This is essentially the prime factorization of our least common multiple. And this is equal to two times three is six, six times five is 30, 30 times five is equal to 150. And of course, we can check our answer. 150, check it, and we got it right.